Um, this uh, poem is called On Sunlight. The black and bottomless sky wears a blue mask, and thermonuclear eyeballs gleam like suns. Gray asphalt is flinging photons into deep wells of space and time. A maroon pickup truck stops at a red light right outside of Ryan's bar and a gray car gleams with dull surprise. Sunlight licks the masks and faces in the crowd and tiptoes from sheet metal to the stratosphere, unwinding faster than time and slowly warping space. This is an older poem. It's been published a bunch of different places. It's called If I Were to Paint the Madonna, probably written 15 years ago. In a world where violin music scratches its way out of a hole in the ceiling, Familiar voices reeling in the squealing night, rasping at the cornerstone of lust, are less of a surprise than butterflies. When icicles drip from the fat man's lip and dinosaur bones laugh in the air like donuts, then violin music that slips through a hole in the ceiling seems less out of place than the mace on the security guard, Sam Brown. The human race is a curse on the lips of a livid vampire who cannot tear his eyes from the empty mirror that is cast on the forehead of the damned. I saw the Madonna dishing up rigatoni at La Strada restaurant, downstairs in Galtier Plaza. She tossed her head, her black hair curled. Um, This is, uh, oh, let's see. This is called Image Poem Number 27. And again, people that know my work know that I recycle um, titles and images from poem to poem. So there are a number of Image Poems Number 27 out there. A goodly number of them have been published here and there. In small press publications. Uh, so anyway, this one, I believe this one is what you'll find online if you do a Google search for image poem number 27. A row of automobiles lined up in the twilight like red speckles on the black top. Imaginary palm trees wrinkled in my fingers as the light from unseen candles burned. My eyeballs rolled across the dusty tessellated floor as I sat in the food court remembering the traffic, sipping a diet soda through a red striped straw. Caught in their shining carapaces, in petroleum fumes and gridlock, the human beings melted back into mud. Road raging drivers, road raging palm trees gripped the steering wheels as swallows swooped unseen in the green, uneven light.
Night in the City. This is another older poem. It was written, oh, probably back in the early 1990s, late 1980s. Probably in the mid 90s sometime. Anyway, it's called Night in the City. Where violins and violets rust and radioactive dust is sifted from clouds of daisies. Smooth-faced twenty-somethings laugh and shake their beautiful asses. Plastic buildings wave at crowds and masks, reminding me of Enser's entry of Christ into Brussels. Masks hide, masks which hide less than they reveal as faces disappear into the mist and violins and violets rust in the radioactive dust. I'd like to uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to these poems. Uh, and I'll make another one of these recordings maybe another time.